The Obama administration took another step this week toward immigration reform. A rule change will allow some illegal immigrants already in the country to apply for permanent resident status if they have a close relative who is already a citizen. The president says he is determined to overhaul this country's immigration policy. I've said that fixing our broken immigration system is a top priority. I will introduce legislation in the first year to get that done. Uh, I think it, we have talked about it long enough. We know how we can fix it. We can do it in a comprehensive way that the American people support. That's something we should get done. I want to bring in a congressman from the president's home state from Illinois, Luis Gutierrez, Democrat with a long record of fighting for immigration reform. Uh, congressman, good to see you again, sir. Thursday's Pleasure. rule change uh, could affect hundreds of thousands of people who are already in this country illegally. Are you happy with the change? Well, look, I am, because it's going to help people keep their families together. Um, it wasn't all we asked for, but it's a significant step in the right direction. Here's what it does, Craig. It says, if you're an American citizen and you're applying for a green card for your wife, or an American citizen applying for a green card for your husband, an immediate relative, your minor children, you don't have to go back to Ireland or Poland or Mexico to get that green card and apply for it. You can put it in the United States and get the approval here. That way you just have to go back to your country of origin to pick it up instead of sometimes spending months there. And as we all know, Ciudad Juarez is an awfully, uh, very dangerous place to go. So this is going to help a lot of people get through this very, very burdensome process you, and you, keep their family together. You took a major step this week. You gave up your seat. You also gave up your seniority on the Financial Services Committee. You moved to the Judiciary Committee. You said in a statement, in part, quote, and I want to make sure I get this right here, uh, we can't wait and wait and wait for immigration reform. And I'm finding an enthusiasm for action that I have sure. not seen on Capitol Hill for years. How will you be able to, to better advocate for immigration reform from the Judiciary Committee versus where you were? Well, first of all, the Judiciary Committee is the Committee of Jurisdiction. I want to be there to work both with my Democrat and my Republican colleagues to make sure we foster a sense of unity and a sense of compromising and a sense of let's get it done. I want to make sure that I can look people in the eye and say, look, we're not going to play politics yeah. with this thing. We're going to get it done. Let's set the partisanship and the politics aside, whether it comes from Democrats or Republicans, because too many people, Greg, you know every day a thousand people get deported. It means 200 American citizen children lose a mom or a dad. Our system is broken. The president's headed in the right direction. Yeah. I want to be there to give it that extra push. Would you prefer to see the White House uh, present some sort of a grand plan, if you will, a piece of legislation, or would you rather see the administration outline the contours of the debate and allow Congress to develop a plan within those parameters? You know, either one. I will respect the president at either level. But what here's what I think is very important, that he say what his principles are, right? Kind of say, hey, these are my 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 principles, the things I believe in, the yeah. things that a bill should include, and he should make those. But then he should call Senator Menendez and Senator McCain and Senator Rubio and Senator Durbin from my own state and over Labrador, right? And, and, and even Paul Ryan and others in the Republican and Democratic caucus. Yeah. So we could all get together and huddle. You know, there is one thing that people have said, and that is that he can call us all together and lead. I think he has a very commanding position right now. He won the election by five million votes. And a cornerstone of his reelection, and everybody agrees with this, was immigration reform and the commitment he made to it. So I'd like for him to gather us all together yeah. and even, you know, hey, invite us over, get us together, and, and make this like the fiscal cliff. Make this as important as guns well, are. We certainly well, we, we don't want it to end like the fiscal cliff. Uh, no, I said make it as important oh, a priority okay. for him okay. as the fiscal cliff was in terms of calling people together and making sure. Look, I, and I mean that this with all seem seriousness. doesn't work so well in Washington. Well, let me just say this. Here's the difference with immigration and the fiscal cliff. With the fiscal cliff, look, we're this, you know, we're separated, yeah. right? There's Democrats, there are Republicans. On guns, there's this great void and vacuum sure. between us. But on immigration, you can have a Senator Rubio and a 
former vice presidential but, but here's candidate the thing, Congressman, talking Rubio about Rubio has it. already said that, that he would prefer to see this sort of piece by piece approach. You're saying you would like to see something done comprehensively. So there, yes. there would seem to be already but here's, a, a chasm here, between the two. Yeah, approaches. but here's but here's the difference. Maybe I see the glass half full because I really see the suffering and the pain that exists, and and I'm very optimistic about the future. Here's why I see the glass half full because before the election, here was our debate. They should all just leave, 12 million of them, self-deport. You know, 1070 in Arizona should be the law of the land. Every other state should replicate it. The DREAM Act, well, we'll just veto that. I mean, that was the Republican Party then. Look at the Republican Party today, whether it's Boehner or others saying, we want to sit at the table. Look, I'm not saying that everything is rosy and, yeah. and, it's, all, and it's all ready. But what I am saying is there's a different sense of ready to compromise and ready to work and I think that's what we need in Washington DC we have to think about the people who are being harmed by our broken immigration system and go to work for them and 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 if we do that I think you know maybe we'll just do a little bit better as members of Congress when we come back uh, when we get you back here next time and hopefully we can get you back here in a, in a few weeks to talk a little bit more about this I also want to talk about the record number of deportations we've seen under this administration as well Thank Congressman you, Greg. Louis Gutierrez from Illinois always a pleasure